Okay, I have a simple lesson for you today on how to be more consistent with your forehand ground stroke and your forehand volley. You have to learn where is the hinge on the swing. Just like a door has hinges that make the door open and close. Where is the hinge on our forehand ground stroke? Where's the hinge on our forehand volley? If you're thinking shoulder, you've got it right. But here's the key, you've got to keep that racket online and make that shoulder the hinge all the way through the stroke. Because what I see, especially at the recreational level, you'll see players, you know, using the lower arm. They think that the lower arm is the hinge. No, it is not the hinge. So if you're trying to do this kind of stuff in the contact zone or this kind of stuff on the volley, you're using your lower arm and your wrist. You're going to be very inconsistent. So, <clears throat> for instance, let's say this is my contact point. Now, six inches before the contact point and six inches after the contact point is the hitting zone or hitting area or contact zone, contact area. I want my racket moving from low to high, that's going to give me some topspin, in that one foot area, six inches before and six inches after. That way, if my timing is not absolutely perfect, I can still keep the ball in the court. So the, if the shoulder is the hinge, that's going to happen. Because once I set the racket at the low point of the backswing and the racket face is closed, as I swing up, see, I'm guaranteed vertical in that one foot zone. As long as I don't move the lower arm. <laughs> That's the caveat. You can't move that lower arm because once you move that, if your racket's open, all these shots are long. If you flick your wrist just at the right moment, yeah, okay, that one stays in, and all these go in the net. So the lower arm is the culprit, and that goes for ground strokes and volleys. So what happens? After you hit the ball, the ball's gone. Now the wrist and the forearm can relax. You can do that windshield wiper motion and come over your shoulder, then come back to your ready position. That's a good thing that the wrist and forearm relax after the ball's gone. That's, that's a good follow through and it's gonna help you relax. <clears throat> now, on volleys, players are doing these kind of movements. I've even seen these kind of movements. Lower arm again. So how can you practice this? You put your hand on the front of your shoulder. It's the muscles uh, on your chest and the front of your shoulder that contract slightly, okay? They contract as you're making contact. If you put your hand here, you're going to feel those muscles tighten up slightly, okay? Whether you're hitting the volley or whether you're hitting the ground stroke, you're gonna feel that. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to put that hand there and feel that as the hinge. That's going to help your consistency tremendously. Okay, let's take a look here. You see I've got my left hand on the front of that shoulder so I can feel that contraction. That's what you want to feel. So here in slow motion, you see I'm turning and setting the racket, making that target for the ball. Now, right there, I'm just about ready to step in now and contract that front of the shoulder. Right there. I can feel that with that left hand. And look at, I'm finished with the stroke. The ball is gone. I'm finished. That is a short swing. 
that's another key to a good volley. Okay, here in real time, and I don't have my hand on my shoulder, but I'm focusing on that shoulder contracting. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. My channel is all about consistency can help you win matches. So I'm here to help you learn the fundamentals and to get that into your brain, okay? Because remember, muscles do not have a memory. Your brain controls all your body parts, okay? Signals from the brain. Now, the more you practice this, the more you're going to burn that signal in your brain. And that's gonna give you the consistency that you're looking for. So please subscribe to the channel, give me a like, a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, I'll do my best to get back to you. And to your tennis success, take care.